So my talk is on how to work with design to make sanity documents reusable components. I am Rinaldi, a developer at Human. I am one of the good humans making good work for good humans at Human. I also happen to be one of their developers. Um, this is the Human site. And a few projects that we've worked on. But this talk came about from a project with Flash Foods, where it was a short timeline, and our creative director was trying to figure out how to be able to build a full site while giving the client enough options to be able to change things around on their own. So before I start, let's get a few things down. So what is a component? According to the dictionary, a part or element of a larger whole, especially a part of a machine or vehicle. So a constituent, and then according to sanity, what is a sanity document? Documents are objects which contain the following special attributes in addition to other arbit arbitrary attributes. And a document and an object in sanity is an order, unordered collection of key value pairs referred to as attributes with unique keys, which you can query on your own. So while building out this site, we had an adage of measure twice, cut once. So it was figuring out what are gonna be the different components of the site and how we can use different sections to give more weight and options for the client without having to build an unnecessary amount of things. So I will show you. So there were a bunch of reusable components, mainly in the homepage sections, like the three across sections, which could be used in, in different parts of the site, uh, full bleed section as well, uh, testimonial section, and the image with text section. So, and then this is the actual website. So you have hero. You'll see the steer cross section. It's full bleed section as well, which one is like inset, smaller, smaller size in height, and then you have it again below with a taller screen height. So like text and and a CTA. This uh, text with image with text section also is used throughout the site in multiple locations. As you can oh just realize I didn't start my server. I actually I can just show you on the actual the live website. And then the image with text is also used as a header as a hero in different parts of the site. And we reuse multiple sections, just add different things to them. And let's get into the code. So a lot of this is handled with these all these documents that can all be queried from and then in sanity image with text looks like this. So you have your image or text document, the alternate color scheme, if necessary, when it's in a base section, but it's program programmatically set to be the blue background white copy color, which you see here when it's a first child. And the image is image right, heading, copy, 
and then the CTA file share. So all the different options for this section, for the different the different layouts of this section. And a lot of this is generated with the uh, queries. So you have your queries here. Homepage query is handled by content. Same with individual page queries when it's a slug. But that is all fed in through here, the content data. And the same thing is happening on the page itself. This stack is a uh, Next.js stack with um, Sanity. So you have all the content being generated in this uh, content component. And if you see here, it's just pulling in all the different components, which are the different sections, the different documents, which you see listed here. And all these different documents are pulled in. All these different components creates the layout for the site as you see it. So yeah, the adage was measure once, cut twice, because we wanted, from a design standpoint, we wanted to be able to give the client so many more options. Same with, what section is this? Same with the, let's see. The insert image section. And then, so the insert image has options for the image, making it full height or not, different heading, copy, and CTA options as well. And then that generates, oh, sorry. And then that generates this component here. So a lot of the, the function of the apps is in the, in the queries themselves. So you have, and set it up the different sections. So in the insect image query, you have that all the info you need to be able to make different, to access the different components as well. But yeah, same with the hero section. We'll have document of the hero. So you want to be able to, we wanted to be able to customize it as much as possible so that the different sections can have different attributes as you can see in, in the code. So the inset image section, different heights, different, different sizes, different, um, sorry, different features as well. Same with the find us find your retailer section like to find a store and then the biggest changes are done with the insert image sections as well with the sorry with the image with text sections so yeah that is the basis of Yeah, that's the basis of this talk and project. Thanks for listening, and that's my insanity story. A little on the shorter side, but yes, thanks. Right on. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, so you work with a lot of clients, and a lot of these clients may have never had like an old, like something besides sanity. Do you think the ones that are getting sanity in their websites 
are they like, oh, th like, this is really nice. Like, this is nice that we can just like go in ourselves. And like, there's a lot of like places that things are reused and that kind of stuff. Like, do they see like, oh, this is a great product that you all have put in for us? Yes. Well, we, we tend to build a, a custom backend, like a customized deck structure <clears throat> so that they'll be able to just drag and drop things and move things around as they see fit. So it's very structured according to like involved the client wants to be. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier for them because they're not confined in ways that they would be with other CMSs. Yeah. And that's like, that's so cool because you really give them a lot of power because usually the developer and the like, the agency has to take care of like updates or like moving around, like little things on a page, you know, but you've been able to give them that power of, oh, I can, I can do it myself. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we really want to give the client the ability to create their own pages and restructure how those pages are, are set. So they don't always have to come to, to us to make changes for them. Yeah. I bet Unless they, it's like a drastic design change. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they really appreciate that. Um, so there is a question for you in the chat from Patrick. Um, Patrick asks, oh, and if you would like to join the chat, go to slack.sanity.io, hashtag meetup. That's where we're talking. Yes. Um, but what is the best way to organize queries and components when different templates only use a subset of those components? Oh, so I saw in a talk that um, Grok Fragments is coming up, but what I tend to do is break out the queries. Am I still sharing my screen? I break out no, the queries I into- um, I can pull it back up. Let me pull it back up. Yeah, yeah, if you can. <clears throat> uh, I'll break out the queries into small sections. So like image data is always going to be, like image data here is going to be used in multiple sections. Like you can see, like for the oh, sorry. for the icon in link data, image data is used. So I'll break out the queries into smaller parts. And then link data is used a lot throughout the throughout like for all the CTAs, it uses the link data. So it, I'll just break it out into like smaller sections. The find us data is used in the find us in the query for the find us section. So queries that will be used like in multiple sections, I'll just break it out. But I'm curious to see how um, Grok fragments works when Sanity releases that. Yeah, that's that's great, um, Patrick. I hope <clears throat> that answered your question. Um, and I think we have one more question coming in, but I don't know. It's being typed. Um, but yeah, if any of you have any more questions for Rinaldi, <clears throat> um, yeah, great talk, great info. Reusability is like so important and being able to like let these clients, it kind of like takes a load off of us. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of selfish, you know, like, oh, well, it's less work for me, but really like it's it's good all around because they're not like yeah it, puts the power, yeah it puts the power in the hands of the content creators and they don't necessarily have to wait around for dev all the time and you don't have to worry about them breaking things yeah exactly um we actually have two more comments or questions um oh, yeah. scott says rad glasses rinaldi I also agree. Oh, and thank you. Um, and then Clive said, can you put the customer use chooser up? The customer use? Customer use oh, like chooser. The, like the studio itself, probably, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Clive, if you um, can be more specific. I see Andrew is asking about the studio as well. Yes, how a client organizes the components into a page. Yes, hold on. Um, actually, I will show the human backend for that. Mm. 
Mm. I have to sign in. Sorry. Here, I'll take your screen off for a second. The chat is blowing up now. You have a lot to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so right. if you if you see so each can you, like can you zoom in just a little bit? Oh yes. I forget it's like a smaller screen. Yeah. So if you see here, like human NYC, all these are all our case studies that we've done. You can see like Packetry, Sojo. So in the back end, you it's the same. <coughs> For a flash food, it's the same way. You would just add a, add a component and then you can just move it around. Although these are case studies, the sections are set up the exact same way. It's just an array of references to the different documents. And then you can decide to like add a document or remove it, or just like so add a new document. In this case, it would just be a case study. But yeah, the pages are set up the same way for um for flash food as well. Sweet. Yeah, and I that I think answers Clive because <clears throat> he said how customers can organize it themselves. That's what he was talking about with like the customer use chooser. Like, oh, okay, yes. So it's the same as the back end is set up in this way. So like, you can it's it has a list of all the different sections as well, like the different components, and you can make a component and just drag drop it into a page and use it in whatever page you need it. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, um, Ethan says that's way awesome. Um, seems much easier than the way I've been doing it. Ethan, how have you been doing it? Tell us. Um, cool. Well, Rinaldi, thank you so much for sharing. Yes. Thank you so much for no um, showing the studio. We always love to like see what our community is building and how it's working for them. And it seems like it's working for you. So that's awesome to hear. Awesome to see. And yeah, thank if you. if anybody wants to reach out to Rinaldi or has any more questions, they can find you. Where do you prefer? Yeah. They can find me on Slack. I just wrote in the chat. Cool. Yeah, so you can find Rinaldi in the Slack community. Uh, any questions or just good feedback, let them know. But yeah, thank you so much, Rinaldi, and we will see you around. Thank you.